Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do four different looks with four new indie palettes and I am just going to let you know how these look, how they swatch out and I'm going to give you some inspiration of what kind of looks you might be able to recreate yourself at home. <laughs> I love filming these videos. It's one of my absolute favorite videos to film here for my channel because I'm able to not only dive into new indie makeup, which is my absolute favorite thing to do here on this platform. I also get to show you some tutorials, show you some looks. So we're going to do four different looks. I have four new indie palettes to the market here. This is not a shop with me. This is not me telling you that, oh, you need to run out and buy all of these palettes. This is just a way for me to show you some things that have come into my collection that I don't necessarily have the time to do dedicated videos on. And let's be honest, we don't need dedicated videos on everything. This is just a collection of some new things to the market. And if you were interested in any of these i'm gonna show you some swatches i'm gonna show you a demo but if you're not in the shopping mood which listen i hear you i definitely do just see this as a video with four different tutorials to just shop your stash and get some inspiration the palettes we're going to be talking about is the little cosmetics uh to up palette i also have the didis signature the classic autumn palette it looks like this i have the one that i have on my eyes right now which is going to be the fourth look and this is sorcerer's smoke by unearthly and then I also have the Artitude Cosmetics, I think it's called Obsession Palette, which is also like a fall, fall inspired palette. You can use the code Angeshka at, I think, all of these places to get some money off. I'm not 100% sure if my code still works at Lethal Cosmetics. You're going to have to check that out yourself. You can also find Lethal Cosmetics at Camera Ready Cosmetics if you're in the US, and I will leave a link to that as well down below. All the info is going to be in the description box in case you are interested. I will also divide this video into different chapters, one chapter for each palette, in case you want to jump around, in case you want to come back and see a tutorial and recreate. So let me know which ones is your absolute favorite and let's jump in to palette and look number one. Okay, so the first palette is going to be the Lethal Cosmetics 2 Up palette. And I really want to use this one here. It's like a, a purple with a blue duochrome shimmer to it. And I really, 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 really want to use that one. So I'm thinking this one and this one. I think so. Oh, I also have this. I haven't swatched this, but I think we're going to use this in some way. And these are the new cake liners. So I have a palette full of them. Well, I don't, I'm missing one, but it was like the black and white. And I, I, I have those. I didn't need that in my life. But I'm thinking we'll do some details. These are like, you can see, this is like neon. We'll like finish up the look with that. I hope. We're going to start with the dark sprite which is the purple one. And let me see if I can pick up a little bit more. Let's see how this is. Hmm, not super pigmented, but we'll be able to build it up. See, definitely buildable. I'm putting a little bit in the crease as well. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do on the lower lash line, but we will figure that out. But I just wanted to start with the dark color and then we will just blend this out. So this is the shade Cartridge. I'm not super happy with the blend of this one because I felt like it wasn't as pigmented as I was hoping. So I had to like push it on but i'm gonna do my best oh this one is so pigmented i'm gonna do my best to like blend these together so i'm just blending this color on top of the purple and then i'm just gonna basically um blend them together and then apply a little bit more of the purple i'm really enjoying this color though I'm gonna put that on the lid too. 
There is some shimmer in it, but I actually like mattes with shimmer in them. I know I'm the only person in the world who says that. Not really, but sometimes I do be feeling a little alone. And I'm just back with the purple and just blending a little bit to get them to blend together and to get the the gradient basically. I do like how this is looking out here now. That's really cute. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about the lippy, it is the uh, Sailor from Lunar Beauty. That's the color I have on my lips. I really like this mix between the cool tone periwinkle and like the warm tone purple. I just really feel it brings this really fun contrast that I'm really, really enjoying. So I'm going to be using the console, this one here, and we are going to be doing that all over the lids. And I'm thinking the D-pad, the, the shimmery Y, we'll just do that a little bit in my inner corner and then we'll do something. I don't know yet what, because something with the liners. We'll figure it out. Ooh, yes. Oh my God, look at that. And the almost pinky purple going to the lavender. I just knew that this shade was going to be perfect with these two shades because it has that element the same as the mattes with the warm base going to a cool tone duochrome. It's just very, very, very nice. And then just add on a little bit more of the purple here. I really like how that is looking. So fun. Let's see if we can do a little bit of that white shimmer. It has a little bit of a green tint to it, but I don't want that to take over. So we're just doing a little bit like that. I think that's enough. So what do I want to do? I could do this. Like, it's like a, almost like a plummy purple, burgundy-ish color. I could do that as a liner. And then maybe, do we want, I don't know. I think I want to do maybe either the light blue or the light pink. We'll, we'll start with the darker one. I have <coughs> apparently grand plans. I think this is going to be really fun. I'm just going to do like a wing. And then we'll do a detail on the inner part. Okay, so this is the million dollar question. Do we want to do the yellow detail or the light pink detail? Yellow, right? Yellow. So I'm thinking just a line. Oh, this is fun. Oh, that is so fun. So I ended up doing a little line under here as well. Just like an extra detail to keep with the yellow. Let me put on the half lash and we can have a final chat. I'm so excited about this look. So there we go. Everything is on. I will say my eye is running a little bit today. I don't know why. So if it's looking a little bit patchy over here, that's me. My eye is running, but I really do like the look and I'm happy I chose the yellow little accent. I really like the color story of this and I like the options that this color story gives. Although I will say, and I did notice this when I swatched it, that I didn't think that these two dark shades were as dark as I have, or like as pigmented and like as smooth as I feel Lethal Cosmetics Formula has been as of late. So I don't know if those are just harder pressed because when I like dug in there a bit, I definitely was able to get like the color on there. I do appreciate that there are like three duochromes really in here. One being a little bit more of a, a stronger duochrome and then the other one being a little bit more softer ones. Is this gonna be my absolute favorite palette? I don't know about that, but I do enjoy the theming of it. I do enjoy the color story of it. And I really do enjoy uh, the look that I did. I also, of course, did try some of the liquid liners. And you know what? I think the quality of these are really good. But of course, 
it's not ideal for me to use a water activated liner now that my eye is running a bit but there also was an activator with this i forgot to use it that uh, little cosmetics sent out that you can use with these uh, like water activated liners that makes it waterproof so we will definitely be trying that one out as well and i will of course be trying that one out before i review these but so far so good they do work really good with water or like a setting spray which is basically like doing it with water but i will try that activator as well but yeah so far so good let's get into look number two So we are going to do a look with the Obsession palette by Artitude Cosmetics. This is going to be the first time that I use this brand on my channel. I'm super excited to finally be able to like showcase it a little bit more. I told you a while ago that silver lid, like a silver eyeshadow, like we have one here, is really pretty with a warm crease. And I am going to a friend, Friendsgiving potluck today so i thought why don't we do something like warm and then silver on the lid i think that's what we're going to do i'm going to show you what i mean i there's a lot of pretty greens in here and i'm sure that there's been a lot of people that done amazing green looks with this palette and i think that that sounds like an amazing time honestly i'm going to start with maple which is that like reddish but I thought maybe I can show you something else. And also maybe I can show you something that you could recreate maybe with things you have at home. Or if you did end up buying this palette, like I said, info will be down below. You can have another inspiration of how to combine these colors that is not like green. Because I will say immediately opening this palette, it is impossible to not be like drawn to these greens. But I, I mean, I love green eyeshadow, I really do. But I actually prefer red eyeshadow over green eyeshadow. I just think that red is so bold and it's so striking. And there's something about red eyeshadow that's just like, it just oozes confidence. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the red out here. And I'm just going to buff a little bit on the edge. So it ends up a little bit like that. And I think I'm going to use the, like, the muted orangey. It's not typical orange. It's more like a darker coral, almost. There is a, it's like a little terracotta. We're going to use that one to blend this one out and also in the inner part of the crease. I'm going to do a little bit under my eyes as well first, just to wrap it around. I really think that it's something so cohesive about, like, wrapping the same color around the outer corner i'm doing the lighter shade now and we are gonna pack that in the inner part i like really packing on color and making sure that i get some saturation to make it look like dramatic love me some dramatic makeup so I'm just pushing this in, in the crease. And let me see if we can just blend a little bit on the edge. I'm using the same brush, just no additional color. And I'll use a little bit of the fall color on the edge here, just to help with the blend. So now that we have the two red or like warm shadows around my eyes, I'm going to use, it's called Daylight, which is something that we, well, we do have some daylight here in Texas, but in Sweden we've been in, <laughs> not so much this time of year. November is usually a pretty grim month, but I'm going to put some on and I remember this swatched amazingly. I am going to spray it and we are going to put this just on the lid. Look at that. That is, well, my camera almost can't pick up how shiny it is. The exposure is just through the roof. 
But yeah, I'm just gonna do this on the lid. I'm not trying to be like super precise about this, but covering the inner half of my lid. And you could definitely do this in the inner corner too. I have a lot of folds and stuff that has happened with age. So I tend to do something, I tend to prefer something that's matte in my inner corners. And if you also feel that with age, your inner corner just doesn't look the same with the shimmer, try a matte instead. It, it, it might actually change things around. So I'm gonna do it like this. And then I'm gonna meet up with some of the red and some black maybe. Ooh, and maybe a little bit here actually. Let me try that. Let me see if I can try just doing just a little bit. That is so bright. So there is a matte, like almost white color in here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in my inner corners. I don't know if you can hear the yard work. They're just outside my window. I'm thinking maybe not. It's so loud. Surely you hear that. I'm sorry. I feel bad for them having to like work in this weather because ugh, that can't be fun. So we're gonna do maple, which is this red, and we're gonna meet up a little bit, and then we're gonna do a little bit of detachment. BRB. Okay, take three. I'm doing the red. I'm just meeting in a little like a little diagonal and then we'll do a little bit of the black I'm just gonna do the black over here just a little bit to make it a little darker I even feel like a red shimmer in between maybe that's what I want let me look into that but I'm just gonna do a little bit black like this just something like that but let me see if we can because we have two red shimmers we have this one that is like a, almost like a black to a red should we do that let's try that you know what i'm feeling adventurous this is like famous last words famous last words my fix plus almost out okay let me see let me do this oh they're back they are back Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. <gasps> perfect. It's like a red, almost like charcoal black metallic. That is perfect. That was made for this look. I'm going to put some white in my waterline. I got this pen. Well, I bought it. I didn't get it. I bought it from Tarte. And it's been so good. Let me actually like show you. Like, look at this. It's been so good. That's amazing. Okay, let me finish this up. I'm so happy we put that shimmer on. Perfection. I am done, the look is done, the potatoes are done, everything is done, and we are actually heading out the door to go to this Friendsgiving, bringing our Swedish potatske thing. Hopefully people will enjoy it, but this is what the look is, and honestly, I love this. It is the red with the bright, bright silver. I love the mixture or like the, the way that they collide, the warm crease with the cool lid. I really like it and the silver is really banging silver and again this is something that you can try with like stuff you have at home as well or if you did end up buying this palette so far I'm really really enjoying the palette of course I only used it once but I will say it's swatched really beautifully so I'm really enjoying it so far but yeah this is something that you definitely can try out at home even with like a warm brown crease silver on the lid and you're creating something that's still neutral, but just a little bit more interesting. I hope you're having an amazing time recreating this. I hope I'm gonna have an amazing time going to this potluck, and I will see you in look number three.
So it's kind of muggy weather today, so I thought we'd do the classic autumn palette, and I really want to play with apricot because it's so it's so pretty. And I think I'm gonna do the greens, pears and kiwi. This is the first time I'm do using Dee Dee's signature on my channel, and I'm excited. I'm gonna start with kiwi. No, this is pears. I'm starting with pears over here. This is not super, super pigmented, but it's definitely um, doable. I can definitely build it up. Ooh, focus. <laughs> I am also wearing my gloss, Quicksand, the one that I did with Unasai on my lips. I think this is my favorite lip product that we did with Unasai. I keep going in between. No, I like this one more. No, I like this one more. But I feel like this is the one that I've used the most. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna use a little bit under my eyes too, and I'm saving out here because I want to use kiwi, but I want to see how pigmented it is before I like start going in with the, the lighter one. So this is kiwi, and I'm just, mmm, really nice. I'm just putting that out here. Oh, that looks really cute right okay i'm just gonna blend this in a little blob out here and i'll go over with the pears i'm gonna use a little bit more of pears now and i'm gonna blend that on the edge i feel like this is gonna be a really easy look like a light green a dark green and then just a really vibrant bronzy yellowy gold see how easy that went on just blending a little bit on the edge. Is that a fluff? We all see the fluff, right? I saw the fluff, you saw the fluff. Mm-hmm. Cute. There it is, I see it. Haha. -ha. So this is apricots and I did spray it because I do have some mats on my lid and I wanna make sure that it's sticking the way it should and that is as pretty on the eyes as it was when I swatched it. I, I just, I don't know. I'm in an era of just loving, I don't want to say regular, but like classic, really high intensity metallic shades. That is really cute. I think I'm going to take it up a little bit. And I'm going to meet up with that green was it pears the lighter one that i used just like stamping on a little bit of pears to have them meet i think that that looks really cute i need to put something in between here to bridge because you can see it's a stark matte green and a stark bright like almost like a bronzy yellow. So I need to find something. I'll probably use a metallic in this palette to like meet. I call it a bridge color, but it's just something that makes the bridge between two colors that are not necessarily matching or going together. It makes the bridge between less stark. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use squash, which is a green metallic. So it's the bridge between a metallic and a green, a green metallic. I hope that this makes sense. And I'm just taking a little bit on my brush and I will be spraying this too because I don't want any more, I, I'm trying to avoid fallout here. And just where they meet, I just put a little bit on the edge and then I gently blend it in so that it is the bridge between the two. I might even put a little bit more of the kiwi, that dark green. Do you see how it now flows together a much better and looks less harsh? Looks cute. I put some mascara on and honestly, I think the look is done as it is. This palette does not offer an inner corner highlight for me. So I'm just going to dig into my trick or treat palette and I'm going to go into Wicked, which is the bone colored matte. This is just something that I like, but I mean, the look is done as it is. It's just that I like having a matte inner corner highlight. Everybody has their thing that they like. 
this just happens to be mine. And I'm still obsessed with this Tarte eyeliner, the, I think it's called Wide Awake, Fake Awake. <clears throat> My bad, the white one. I know people say white does not look natural in the waterline, but as you can tell, I'm not going for <clears throat> natural. I feel super pretty. I'm really, really excited about this look. I think everything works really good, especially with this little bit of a warmer lip gloss. I just think it all comes together and me and my husband are going for some like errands today and like I said it's a little bit gloomy it's been rainy and I feel like this is like a fall look that's gonna perk me up a little bit so so far I really do enjoy the palette of course I've only used three shadows so far can't give you a full verdict but so far so good I really do enjoy it but let's get in to the next look really smoky look with the sorceress smoke i feel like that's appropriate i really want to play with this one nightshade it's like a it's like a plummy base you can see with like almost like dark blue specks in it it's very smoky it's very pretty i actually want to start with prophecy i feel like that's gonna be good i'm also wearing one of the lippies from unearthly this is in kailina I'm having this new candle by Fantasy Cosmetic in the background. It smells amazing, but it's one of those that crackles. And I don't know if the camera picks it up or not. If it does, I'm gonna have to stop burning it when I'm filming. But if you hear anything, it's me trying that out. <laughs> Basically. So we're gonna start with Prophecy, which is that like warmer, like super warm, almost orangey brown. And I'm gonna start with that in the crease and then we're gonna deepen it up probably with the black that's called soot and then the I'm, i want to do an easy smoky eye this is what we're doing easy smoky eye all you have to do is start with a mid-tone color in the crease that you want to be your most like visible crease color start with that and blend out the edges you can always use a transition shade if you want to as well. I will not do that today because I already know from before that the unearthly shadows are uh, blendable and high quality enough so that I can blend the edges without the transition shade. I'm putting some of this under my eyes as well. So far, I've only used one color around my eyes and I really feel like it's looking really good just on its own, right? Is that not looking really, really good? So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna clean this brush <laughs> and I'm gonna use the color Soot, which is the black. And we are gonna deepen up in the outer corner with this one and also in the crease, because this is gonna help. Once we put that dark shimmer all over our lid, it's really gonna help if we've already like established the, the, the crease colors, like the, the blend basically. I think I'll do a little bit under my eyes as well, just to be like consistent, I guess. And I'll just blend this into the brown a bit and I'll add some more of the brown and I'll just blend them together but again, we want this to be a smoky look, so don't be afraid to add a little darkness. I might actually put this on my lid as well, because I'm not 100% sure if that shimmer is like fully opaque or not. And if it's not, it could be good that it's like a black base underneath. So it's gonna be something like this. Honestly, I mean, this is a look on its own. You don't even need a shimmer but we're gonna add a shimmer. So this is the color Nightshade, and I did spray this because we are putting it on top of the black powder. I think that this is gonna be, I have, I have high expectations of this because of the plum blue, Ooh, 
the plum blue feeling of this shadow and I'm covering basically everything that is black with this shadow that looks so cool I'm just cleaning off my brush I have my Sigma color switch here and then I'm just gently just blending this into the crease to have them mix with that orangey brown shade. Because with the smoky eye, you don't want any stark lines. You want it to flow together. And I think that that looks really, really cool. We can do a little bit more of the prophecy, which is that orangey brown. And we can just put it on top just to make sure that they mix. But it's really good to not have a stark line. I think that that looks like a wet oil slick. Look at that like plum purple to the blue. Mm, maybe we'll do a little bit on the lower lash line too, just covering the black. Like just a little bit. Okay, this is looking like a really nice smoky oil slick. And the last step to having a really successful black or like smoky eye is to my dog is so dramatic on the floor, is to do a dark color in the waterline. And also a little bit of tight lining. This really ties everything together and just makes it, you can tell, there is like, it just ties it together when you don't have that like skin color. But I am so excited about this look. It is hard to beat how good a classic smoky eye really looks and especially when you get this like wet looking duochrome oil slick effect on like it's it's so beautiful i am so excited this palette is beautiful i don't have all the palettes here in front of me that i have been playing with really did enjoy this one i also really like the i liked all of them the lead cosmetics one the artitude cosmetics one and also the dd signature one dd signature has some really kick-ass shimmers if we're gonna be totally honest and so does the artitude cosmetic that one was really beautiful i think my favorite look actually is this but it's because i always love a good wet looking like smoky eye like the smoky eye is always really really nice i think maybe the attitude cosmetic one is the one that has the color story that speaks to me the most but i had a good time with all of these if i'm gonna be honest the only thing i will say is that i didn't feel like the lethal cosmetic one that the mattes had the same smooth super pigmented easy to pick up like texture that they have had as of late that will be the only thing that i'm like hmm not a hundred percent convinced about it i do have some more indie palettes that's come into my life so i'm gonna film another one of these even though they take me a long time but i really do love filming these i think they're super fun and i'll have another one up somewhat soon with some new palettes i have uh, another one from dd signature i also have the new palette from bella beauté bar like listen there's a lot of fun things coming up, so I will have that soon as well. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and thank you for staying until the very end. Don't forget to check the description box for more info, and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye!